Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into my channel. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the Umpqua Community College shooting. And yes, it's already on Wikipedia. It was actually on there on the first day. And no, that's no kind of con uh, conspiracy theory. This is actually the norm for Wikipedia now. The, uh, any story that makes headline news, national media attention and stuff like that. I mean, you have writers, uh, like multiple writers, already posting their information on Wikipedia and such. And I guess that's kind of one of the things I disagree with Wikipedia. They shouldn't promote these mass shooters on their website. Um, but it is kind of interesting to take a look to see everything that is on here already the amount of material they have and they're referencing over 42 articles that they've already found online but now in the mainstream media you know they won't release all this information to you at once even though they have tons of information already but in this instance you know since um, I don't know for what reason they really held back giving out information to the public and uh you know, that led some people to believe that, oh, the shooter was maybe some kind of Muslim or something like that, but that wasn't the case either. This was actually, uh, you know, a white kid. And in addition to that, you know, he's, he's from the United Kingdom. He wasn't even born in America. And I'll read this article to you. And then, uh talk to you about a few other things. It says, on October 1st, 2015, a mass shooting took place at Umpqua Community College in Roseburg, Oregon, United States. Chris Harper Mercer, 26, fatally shot nine people and injured seven others on the campus before being killed in a shootout with police. Details at 10.38 a.m. Pacific and the first 9-11 call was made from inside the campus. A gunman was reported walking through several campus buildings, shooting people indiscriminately. Most of the shooting occurred inside room 15 of Snyder Hall, where an English and writing class was being held. One woman was shot multiple times in the stomach while trying to close the classroom door. Multiple witnesses state that the shooter asked several students their religion before shooting them. And that little piece of information that was uh, basically leaked in the media is why people were thinking, oh, this guy's Islam, he's a Muslim. Uh, but we don't even know that for sure. Uh, but I'll continue here. Some students were shot multiple times. One student, Chris Mintz, was shot over five times while trying to protect others but survived. The shooter died after a shootout with police officers who arrived on the scene. None of the officers were injured. It is unclear whether the shooter killed himself or was shot by police. Following the shooting, Agents from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives, ATF, launched a campus-wide search for explosives. A total of four weapons were recovered from the crime scene, comprising three handguns and one long gun. According to law enforcement officials, the, uh, the shooter had body armor and had enough ammunition for a prolonged gunfight. And then it has a section here on victims. Excluding the gunmen, nine people were killed in the shooting, seven others were injured, with some of the survivors suffering multiple gunshot wounds. Four of the injured were treated at Mercy Medical Center, with one victim in critical condition and the other three in stable condition. The remaining three survivors were transferred to Peace Health Sacred Heart Hospital in Springfield, with one in critical condition while the other two are in serious condition. The names are expected to be released after notifications of the families. According to some reports, the gunman asked victims their religion during the shooting, which one injured victim claimed he singled out Christian students. Uh, now the perpetrator, Chris Harper Mercer. His mother, Laura Harper, had hyphenated her husband's surname, was identified as a shooter. He was born in England on July 26, 1989, and moved to the U.S. while he was still young. He lived with his mother in Torrance, California, and from 2011 to 2013, and was a graduate of Switzer Learning Center, a school for teenagers with learning disabilities and emotional issues. So that kind of leads me to believe that this was just some nut job, basically, 
that went in and shut up all these people. I think he came up with it in his head just to be like, oh, I'm going to ask these people, you know, what their religion is. And if, you know, if they're Christian, I'll shoot them in the head. And if they're nothing else or whatever, I'll just shoot them in the legs. I, I think that was just on the go. I think he just made that up because if you read about the little bit of biography that's on this guy and what he's posted online already, he doesn't have any kind of logical way of thinking. I, I think he just did it to tease the media and the authorities to make them think that there's something else bigger going on here. Well, anyway, that's my opinion. All right, let's go on here. Mercer and his mother then moved to Winchester, Oregon. He was not a student at the community college, but was a production assistant on the upcoming play there. Mercer had a number of online accounts, many under the name Iron Cross 45, a reference to Nazi Germany. Mercer's email address was linked to a MySpace profile with pro-Irish Republican Army propaganda, which the Irish Republican Army was considered a terrorist group, along with dating along with a dating profile listing him a single mixed race man living with his parents and his views as conservative Republican, media reports that Mercer had an email address linked to an account on a BitTorrent website where he uploaded a documentary on the Sandy Hook shooting. Neighbors and acquaintances described Mercer as odd and skittish. One neighbor stated Mercer would sit by himself in the dark in the balcony with his little light, and another said his demeanor, the way he moved, always looking around, I got a bad vibe from him. Now we have reactions. President Barack Obama said in his statement regarding the shooting, thoughts and prayers do not capture the heartache and grief and anger that we should feel, and it goes nothing to prevent this carnage from being inflicted someplace else in America next week or a couple months from now. Oregon Governor Kate Brown stated that she was heartbroken by the events and that she would be immediately traveling to Roseburg. The American Association... Uh, <clears throat> of community colleges and the Association of Community College Trustees issued a joint statement calling the shooting a tragedy and expressing their commitment to on-campus safety. But now what I just read, you didn't hear anything about Obama wanting to go there, you know, just like the uh, terrorist attacks over in Paris where all those writers got shot, he didn't want to go over there either, so he had a football game to watch. Okay. Role of the media on August 31st, 2015, in response to televised verders by Vester Flanagan, the shooter wrote, On an interesting note, I have noticed that so many people like him are all alone and unknown. Yet when they spill a little blood, the whole world knows who they are. A man who has known a man who was known by no one is now known by everyone. His face splashed across every screen, his name across the lips of every person on the planet. All in the course of one day. Seems the more people you kill, the more you're in the limelight. That was a quote that this Mercer guy put online. Um, now, Sheriff John Hanlon of Douglas County angrily refused to name Mercer. I will not name the shooter. I will not give him credit for his horrific act of cowardice. Media will get the name confirmed in time, but you will never hear us use it. So there's an explanation for why... The media wasn't getting out the name on so, uh, but that doesn't make sense because Wikipedia already has the name and has the information and articles that were released in over 40 articles online. They just failed to mention that stuff to you, which I don't understand why. So, okay, let's back to the story. After the shootings, federal authorities investigated a posting from the day before on 4chan, uh, a website known for pseudonymous postings of hoax, hoaxes and provocative comments so which carried the warning some of you guys are all right don't go to school tomorrow if you are in the northwest meanwhile the global news director of buzzfeed tweeted that 4chan members are setting up fake twitter accounts to tweak fake ucc shooting suspects at reporters and media.org so you already have assholes out there who are pretending to be the shooter and sending in these fake reports to news stations and stuff already. So that's kind of sick in its own means. And this is just another example of uh, why the NSA spying doesn't work. Like they, they have all these 
spy centers, fusion centers in place that are collecting all this information and data from all over the world, making total complete biographies of you, keeping all your emails and videos and photos and everything, and your phone conversations, yet they were unable to, de to detect this threat. It, you know what I mean? And it's like I've said in other videos, there's so much information like even their computers can't compute it all. I mean, it, it, it's basically the the, in, the information is only being kept to be used against you in a future uh, situation down the road if you cause problems and stuff like that. That's the only reason that information is being kept. I don't think it's really being used to prevent any kind of uh, tragic event or terrorist attack. Let's see here. So, let me go on from what I was saying. After the shooting, federal authorities investigated posting from the day before on 4 Channel, a website known for pseudonymous postings of hoaxes and provocative comments, which carried the warning, some of you guys are alright, don't go to school tomorrow, if you are in the Northwest. Meanwhile, the Global News director at BuzzFeed tweeted that 4chan members are setting up fake Twitter accounts to tweak fake hashtag UCC shooting suspects at reporters and media .orgs. Another media member of the site called NBC News to inform them that, contrary to rumors on social media, he was alive and not the shooter. So, but if I scroll down here, you'll see all the sources they already had pretty much on day one and then some from day two. So you had, yeah, 37 sources from, from the first day and now they've included four more sources into this article on Wikipedia on the second day. And if I scroll down here, you'll see the page was last modified October 7th, 2015. And, uh, let's say, yeah. So, by the time I even get this video to you, <clears throat> like when I first started reading this to you, this the information in this article has already changed. Uh, it already it had a different time on it already. It's saying 1901 right now. Um, but that's what I'm. It's one of the things I disagree with the the Wikipedia. That's why they they get discredited for you know by the media and such like that because they, what they do is they take all the information that's on the net about you know a breaking story and then they just throw it into one article and because they want to be the first and they want to get their hits and their views and all that stuff and then. Uh, as time progresses, you know, these writers will come back and they'll, they'll add the factual inter information to the article and they'll, re they'll replace all the assumptions they had. Now, if you go up to the talk section, like on these Wikipedia pages, you'll see all the conversations these writers have, like in regards to what should be put in the article, should we put this in the article, should we not put this in the article, it's like a bunch of like geeky coding guys in a room that have no life and their only purpose is to code, that, well that's how these Wikipedia writers, writers are, I mean they are totally like into and serious about what they do, they're like disconnected from humanity, like all these kids just got shot and they you know, their main purpose is just to get the information and get as much as they can. Doesn't matter if it's been confirmed or not. We're just going to put it in the story. And once it gets more confirmed and we get more intelligence, we'll just replace the bad info with good info. So, but what I'm waiting to find out about this shooter was like if he had any ties to Islam. Uh, especially being from London or from Europe, whichever one that was. And... The fact that he did mention that he quoted that he would only shoot Christians in the head and shoot others in the legs. And also there was a, uh, a story that came out, a Twitter account link. There was actually a pic that came out of uh, ISIS claiming, claiming, the, uh, claiming responsibility for this shooting at the school. Uh, read it to you. A tweet sent out by an allegedly Islamic State affiliated Twitter account claimed responsibility for yesterday's Umpqua College, community, college shooting carried out in Roseburg, Oregon by Chris Harper Mercer. 
The tweet was sent out by KHO00, but the account has since been suspended by Twitter for terrorist propaganda. A screen cap can be seen below. So, you know, you have this stuff he's saying about shooting Christians in the head, and then this tweet comes out of nowhere about uh, ISIS claiming responsibility for these slayings. So, are they connected? Is the guy that's posting the uh, this ISIS tweet, you know, is he just some asshole that's trying to get attention and try to add more mystery to this? <clears throat> Possibly. You know, so I'm going to wait to see what other information comes out. But for right now, to me, it was just some nutcase that didn't have any ties to ISIS or anything like that. You know, I, I think it was just some nutcase that went into a school and shot a bunch of kids. You know, so and why a school would use, why a college would use somebody who's not even a student there doesn't even make sense to me to, to be in one of their theater plays that that's doesn't make sense but all right thanks for watching guys uh hope you learned a little bit and uh please subscribe if you haven't already i just started a facebook page it'd be appreciated if you followed that follow me on that too so all right take care